everyone and welcome back to the organized notebook in this video we wanted to show you how you can make a gift planner using notion christmas is coming soon so we thought that this would be the perfect template to build so let's get started first we'll go to an empty notion page and let's name this gift planner and for this tutorial we are only going to make gift planner that's specific for a certain occasion so in this case let's put christmas 2023 and we're going to add an icon by clicking add icon and we'll choose something that looks like a gift and we'll add cover by clicking add cover change cover and we'll go to unsplash which has a huge library of stock images and we'll choose something that is christmas themed like this one and reposition save position and now we're gonna go ahead and go to the top right hand corner, three dots and do small text full width just so that we have more space on the page. So in this gift planner, we're going to have two main databases, one for people and one for the gift. So let's type slash table for table view database. And we're going to do plus new database and we're going to name this people. So this is all the people you're going to be buying gifts for. And underneath that, we're going to have our gifts. So slash gallery view for this one. And we're going to do plus new database and we'll name this gift. So in order to create this template, let's go ahead and start adding a sample person here that we would buy the gift for. So for example, we could put grandma. And we don't need tags, so we're going to remove this delete property. And we're going to need to link people to the gift. So let's go ahead and click the plus button here to add a relation property. And we're going to relate it to gift. And let's go ahead and show it on gift so we can keep track of everything. Add relation. And now we have it connected to gift. And let's say that we want to get grandma an air fryer. So we're going to go to this gift here and we're going to name this air fryer. And we don't need the created date, so we're going to remove this by clicking delete property. We don't need tags, so we're going to remove this as well, delete property. And here in people, we're going to link this to grandma. So now we've linked the air fryer to grandma. And here are some properties that we recommend adding to the gift. You might want a URL so you can keep track of where the gift is located. So now if we go to a link to where you're going to buy the air fryer, we could go to, for example, Amazon and just copy this link into our Notion and paste it in like this. And the other thing we would like to have is the price. So for that, you can put number and we'll name this price and we can put some kind of shopping icon here. And number format, we'll choose US dollar. And now you can insert the price. So this air fryer costs $89.95. So we can go back to our Notion and put in $89.95 for the price. And now what we can do is remove the inside of this. And let's go ahead and add a cover photo for this. So we're going to add the image to the link. So change cover and link. And if we go back to the shopping item, we can type control click and then save image or copy image address. And if we go back here, we can paste it in to show the product image. Now, if we go back out, we can choose to show all of this information by going to the three dots here and going to properties. And we want to show who this gift is for the price and also URL could be useful in case you want to directly click into it. And you can rearrange the order by dragging this. And now we have our air fryer here, but we don't see the picture. So for that, we need to go back here to layout. And we are going to choose card preview to page cover. And now we have an image of this. And you can even reposition it or alternatively, you can also choose whether or not you want to fit the image. And in this case, fit image looks better. So we're going to go with fit image. And now it looks quite nice here. 
So now what we can do is add the price to this list so that we can further calculate the cost of all the gifts. So if we go to this plus sign here, we can add a roll up and we click roll up and we can select the relation for gifts and we're going to go with the price and you can click sum here. So it's going to sum up all of the gifts that are connected to this person. And then what you can do is calculate the sum by going here. But since we don't know if we bought the gifts yet, we can now add another property called bought, but we're going to use a checkbox property and rename this to bought with a question mark. And now you can keep track of which gifts you bought already. And for that, we recommend to make another tab here, which is going to show everything that you've bought. So if we duplicate this, then you can create a view which shows only bought gifts and we're going to filter it based on whether or not this is checked off or not. So we can show all that's checked and save for everyone and now there's nothing here. So if we go back to the table and let's say that we bought this air fryer, then we could click this and it's going to show up here and we can calculate the total by going to sum. And I can see the sum of the gifts like this. And now it would be nice if we see all the gifts that are not bought yet here. So let's rename this not bought. And we can filter this by the checkbox so that we show all that's unchecked, save for everyone. And we can even add another tab here by duplicating this so that it shows all, show all, and we can remove the filter like so, save for everyone. And now we can see everything like this. And we can also add another property by clicking plus here, which would be the roll up for the URL of the product in case you wanna immediately buy from there. So then we can go relation, gifts, and we can name this property URL and now it's going to show the URL here and since this is taking a lot of space what we can do is we can first rename this link and we can go to the three dots here and layout and we can toggle off wrap all columns so that we can save some space like this. So this way you can continue to add more gifts and more people. So if we put here, for example, now we could put mom, you could put sister, and you could add more gifts here as well and prices. And you can track who you've bought gifts for and the links to the gifts and so on. And of course you can even add your own properties such as, is, for example, in this gift section, you could add a property for the type of store you need to buy it from and so on. So the possibilities for customization is pretty much endless and depends on what you need for your gift planner. So that's the basics of our gift planner using Notion. We hope that this is useful for you. We'll leave the link to a completed version of this template in the description below. If you need a template with more functions and features, we also have a celebration and party planner that also includes gift tracker and more. And we'll leave the link to that as well. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or confusions relating to this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.